Welcome to Ajigaram community in Tafa local government area of Niger state. Ajigaram is home to the indigenous people of Bagi tribe who reside in central Nigeria and are primarily farmers known for their cultivation of yam, millet and maize. They are also skilled potters, weavers and blacksmiths. Trading contributes to their economic sustainability and cultural vibrancy. For about eight years now, the weather has been getting hotter and rainfall less and uneven. This is adversely affecting agriculture and food production, which impacts the quality of life and living standards of the Bagi people. It has affected the ecosystem and biodiversity as the people ultimately depend on agriculture for their survival. In those days, 15 years back, we used to have rain here that would last up to November. At least the first week or second week of November, there used to be rain here. But because of uh, desert encroachment now, the rain does not even reach November. Even last year, I said there was, the rain stopped at uh, September. Yeah, there are some crops that we can no longer plant them here, that we used to plant them in those years. Yeah. Like guinea corn. During our visit to Ajigaram, we spoke with some of the farmers who reported the accelerated rate of desertification and land degradation they are witnessing. They complained of reduced food production and the shrinkage of the river that provided water for the locality, putting more pressure on farmers and some households. Also, since the water began shrinking, access to good quality has become a challenge. I am a farmer. Mm. Uh, some of the crops I normally farm rice, also kinikong, and uh, maize. I also do yam farming. Also. Once you plant your yam inside your your hips, at times if you check, if you go around the hips, you just put your place your hands on it. You hear the hotness of the area. So that hotness normally affects our yam plant. It will result not to germinate. Stream we are using here, if you check it, you can't find it again. In dry season, it's dry top. Now that it's rainy season, it carry every day to push it to that place. The potato is a pie of my baby. Taki baby. I'm a higher than I can tell you. The potato is a pie of my baby. The low income and poor basic infrastructure of this indigenous community exacerbates the compounding risks they face. Limited access to resources, education and financial means restricts their ability to implement sustainable practices such as climate smart agriculture on a commercial scale. This leaves the community more vulnerable to the adverse effects of climate change, accelerating the loss of agricultural biodiversity jeopardizing the ecological balance of the community and pushing them deeper into poverty. That incest that will come out. And when coming out, their crops will not grow up well very well because it will tie the, the, the leaves. After tying the leaves, they do not apply the chemical, it will not grow very well. It will destroy it. The nutrition of the families are being affected as the quantity of food the farmers are able to give their families is now being rationed as a result of the declining output. This is to make sure that the families still have enough to sell to afford other essential commodities. Further interactions revealed that the women in the households opt for lesser food portions to ensure their children and husbands are well fed. This contributes to the national prevalence of undernourishment in Nigeria. Without any external support, the quality of nutrition of the children may be adversely affected. Also, the community members reported that some of the medicinal herbs for treating skin infections and fever that used to grow in the community are no longer available. Itawa. 
As an adaptive measure, the farmer switched to using organic manure, which they believe is less affected by erosion since it mixes with the soil better, unlike chemical inputs. But they soon noted that productivity declined, which forced them back into using chemical fertilizers. You can farm without chemical to spray in your farm. No dwelling. From our survey from Hajigaram community in Niger State, we discovered that these people lack access to good water supply. So we recommend that a borehole should be dug for this community and they should plant drought resistant seedlings. The people of Ajigaran community in Niger State have learned that the challenges they are facing are due to climate change, which is as a result of their day-to-day -day human activities. There is an urgent need to invest in community climate education and climate smart agriculture while building local institutional capacities. The Bagi people need knowledge exchange with international communities, expertise and financial resources to reduce adverse climate impact, build resilience and adapt better to climate change.